Next year is Olympics year with the Games being held in Rio de Janeiro. Three years after London 2012, there's growing evidence around the region that we've done quite well out of what's called the Olympic legacy. Not everybody got what they wanted, but we did get the water sports park at Lee Valley and the mountain bike venue at Hadley. And that's not all. Hundreds more smaller schemes have gone ahead. Tom Williams has our special report tonight. The waterways of Whitlingham in Norfolk, bustling with paddlers. Nearly a thousand in action at the National Marathon Championships. Norwich Canoe Club, the hosts, now they have the facilities to do it justice. Getting off the water, rather than just going to a tin shed and getting changed in the cold, to actually going upstairs to a lovely warm shower. You know, you can go to a toilet, you can freshen up. You know, the mums are in there making bacon sarnies. It's just brilliant. £1.4 million has been spent upgrading the boathouse, including a £50,000 grant from Sport England. Five clubs share it, now a shining beacon of 2012's Olympic legacy. We needed this facility to be able to run this event, so it's a brilliant legacy we've had from the Olympics. It's absolutely fantastic. So if you could see where we've come from, we've had a tent for our recreation area and kitchen, and we also have sheds for our changing rooms. Go! It's a real eye-opener being down here today to see how relatively small amounts of money can make such a huge difference. A club like this simply couldn't host an event on this scale without the investments and millions of being spent elsewhere too. Nearly £17 million from Sport England alone. Their Inspired Facilities Fund and other legacy money pots help pay to make improvements. Every county's benefited, with awards ranging from hundreds to thousands of pounds. Cambridge University received half a million to build five world-class squash courts. In all, 319 projects across the region. One school in Northamptonshire cashed in on 40,000 to beef up their gym. The result? Participations increased by 25%. Children have been pouring in all summer for coaching camps. Numbers are even higher amongst women. Manor School Sports College in Rawns has also launched a GP exercise referral scheme for patients nearby. The community really benefits from what's here. The students have got the best experience of what they could have at their local school. It's got the best legacy that we could offer young people and the community. But the garden isn't all rosy. In Milton Keynes, plans for a new 22 million national centre for badminton have been scrapped due to lack of funds. This project would have been one of the best world-class training facilities for our squad of any badminton nation in the world. It would have been just outstanding, but it would have been equally outstanding for the local community. Badminton in Milton Keynes is massive. The demand for our courts here easily outstrips our supply and in order for that growth to continue we've got to have the facility that matches it. After 2012 the local authorities in Bedfordshire overhauled their leisure strategies bucking the national trend with many councils cutting back on sports budgets Central Bedfordshire Council began to invest. And then we have badminton nets hanging off the t-shaped bars that you can see up there. 30 million pounds to revamp six leisure centres and a brand new one under construction at Flitwick. We're a frugal council. We haven't increased tax in the last five years and we've made the savings elsewhere. But we looked at leisure. We need to invest in leisure. Public health is a great thing for us. It should open in January. Facilities in this region laying foundations for future success. Tom Williams, BBC Look East.